wake up till five. My body's soft. I feel like it's time for breakfast. I bet you're beautiful any time of the day. In fact, I'd say you're much prettier than Lisa Mays. <laughs> I like the dark makeup on your eyes. I also like the way you smell. So where are you from now? The north end of the valley. Some of the calls sometimes take me over there, but nobody I know still lives out there. <laughs> You're from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. How do you know that? It's online. Everything about you is online. Well, not everything, but definitely a lot. I've watched all the videos from when you were a reporter. I'm sure you look at those, of course. No, no, God, no. Not without a drink in my hand. <laughs> I watch my work all the time. Yeah, do you want to become a reporter? No. Most of you guys want airtime. Not me. I want to be the guy that owns the station, that owns the camera. The business is going well, but in order to grow to the next level, I need to stay one step ahead of my competition and take risks. I also need financial support to implement expansion. Would you like another margarita? One's enough. Thanks for coming out to talk. The place I'm in now is that I want a relationship with someone I can team up with and share, like we share the same job and hours and whatnot. I could go down a laundry list, but you get the idea. <laughs> yes. Well, I hope you find someone. Here's the thing about that, you know. I'm quite certain I already have. Okay. Let me put this polite. I only came out to dinner with you, Lou, purely as a professional courtesy. Thank you. I don't think it's any secret that I've single-handedly raised the unit price of your ratings book. Our ratings book price? <laughs> Whoa! I'm a very fast learner. We had a conversation where I specifically mentioned that. Do you remember that? Well, do you? Yes. I recently learned, for instance, that most Americans watch local news to stay informed. I also learned that the average half hour of Los Angeles television news packs all of its local government coverage, <laughs> including law enforcement, budget, transportation, education, and immigration, into 22 seconds. <laughs> local crime stories, however, not only usually led the news, but filled 14 times the broadcast, averaging five minutes and seven seconds. KWLA relies heavily on such stories. With Los Angeles crime rates going down, I think that makes items like mine particularly valuable, like rare animals. <laughs> I can only imagine that your needs will increase during next month's rating sweeps period. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we certainly appreciate what you do. There are certain good things about being alone. You have time to do the things you want to do, like study and plan, but you can't have dinners like this or be physical with a person, I mean, outside of flirtationship. Where are you going with this? I want that. With you. Like you want to keep your job and your health insurance. Look, just for starters, I don't need you to keep my fucking job. You're the news director on the vampire shift of the lowest rated station in Los Angeles. We have what could be considered an almost exclusive relationship. There are many other places I could go. I have to think that you are invested in this transaction. Here you are. Wow. Enjoy. Thank you. Where did you get the balls to even suggest something like this? We're still talking. No, there's nothing more to say. You can leave. L okay, look, you've done well. Okay? And we pay you well, very well. We always have. If you like, I, I could get you an exclusive retainer. 
and that would be on top of your segment fees. I could maybe even get you a job at the station starting as a production assistant so that you could learn the business from the inside. That's where you said your interests lie. Mm -hmm. You're not listening, Nina. I happen to know that you haven't stayed at one station for longer than two years at a time, and you're coming up on two years soon. I can imagine that your contract is for that length of time, and that next month's ratings directly affect that. So you're threatening that if I don't... I'm negotiating. You're threatening to stop selling to me. That's your choice. The true price of any item is what somebody's willing to pay for it. You want something, and I want you. So fuck you. And as a friend. Jesus Christ, friends don't pressure friends to fucking sleep with them. Actually, that's not true, Nina. Because as I'm sure you know, a friend is a gift you give yourself. 